What's going on my friends? Welcome back into another Black Clover video. Today I wanted to go ahead and show you guys um, the gear dungeon uh, part 15 how I'm able to beat it without Mars. Yes, Mars will make this faster. Having the correct units will make everything go faster. But for people to not get discouraged if you haven't gotten all the units that are the best units and recommended and stuff like that when it tells you you need all of these people and stuff like that, it's just gonna be slower and you might have to manual it the first couple of times. I manual, uh, manual, I manual the 14 about four times, got like one piece of LR gear. And then when I went here, once I set up everything correctly, I was able to do that. As you can see, I'm 153 K versus the 198 that it's recommending because you have a type advantage against the enemies. This number is insignificant in a way to need to be exactly at where the number is telling you to. I did around probably 30 runs on auto and they did not fail once, but you have to look at your preset skills. So if you have Mars and you're still struggling on 15, let me know down in the comments and I can tell you what presets to use. I don't have Mars on this account, so I can't show you that exactly on here. But if you are using Charmy, Lotus, and Soul, and then whatever DPS you're using, obviously up to you which DPS you wanted to use, you can change these out. But for sure on Soul, you wanna have the Taunt as your first active. You wanna have her uh, ult as the second active. And for Lotus, all you really need to worry about is the ult. You don't need to use his debuff to just give your damage dealer more damage. This is not a race to beat these levels. It's more of a sustain. Uh, how long can you sustain? And using this skill, it disrupts him from using his um, skill one, which if you look at the skill one, that's the ability on Lotus that allows him to um, bring down their speed. So the important thing about his skill one going off every other turn um, or every turn is that you have the ability uh, and the chance to have their speed reduced, their reduced mobility. And when you get that, uh, normally it allows for your Yami or your DPS or your healer or your tank to get an extra heal off or an extra taunt off. And it makes a big difference. Um, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and show you guys kind of um, what gear I'm using. So that way you can see, I apologize, I went back in there, what gear I'm using. I think I maybe have two LR pieces at this point. So I have two of the artifacts uh, or whatever this is called. I'm gonna call them artifacts for right now, like the earrings, necklace and ring. I have two of these. The way that you get those, let's just jump back real quick. So that way you can see is if you come right over here to Vanessa, Vanessa allows you to craft an accessory, accessory, not artifact. She allows you to craft an accessory. And the way that you do this is you'll, for example, let's see if there's anything that we need for defense and we'll make that real quick. That way you can see it live in action. Let's go ahead and go to gear. We are missing the earrings. So, Let's go here to Vanessa and let's go to craft accessory and we're going to click on earrings. And now we have an option of what uh, typing we want this item to become. So obviously the shield is defense and we're not pushing to make LRs yet because we have, we don't have enough LRs to feed into it. Like for example, one LR doesn't even give you enough percentage for an SSR. So let's not waste the single LRs that you have right now. The easiest way to get this started is come down here to your leftover SSRs that you're not using. And we just click all these bad boys in. And I think it's seven. We got seven of those. And then we do one UR on defense. Oh, let's do two. Okay, so two. So nine right here gives us a 95% to become a uh, to become the earrings 95% for SSR 
5% for UR. If we were to do one more, 10 doesn't raise up the percentage. So we are using one of these, the SSR mage pieces, to get us a little bit of extra um, tankiness and everything like that within our build. And it goes a long way. Do you want to spend all those SSR mage pieces? If you don't have enough and you're looking to build out every single character, then maybe it's not an option for you right away. But if you have the main characters that you want built up and you're more worried about farming gear, then this is a good way to just give a little bit of extra stats um, to increase the build. With this right here, we can see we have the defense right here. We're going to go ahead and equip that. And it gives us uh, a little bit percentage of the crit damage and a little bit percentage of defense. So we build up some stats on that to have more going into it. My soul is pretty tanky. She's at 7,600. We have him at 3,530. I was watching a, um, a person saying that you do need 5,000 defense on each of the characters uh, that are not your tank. But as you can see, the only two that have above 5,000 is my Charmy and my Soul. Sorry, I was putting my dog, one of my dogs down. Um, and they are more than capable of autoing this challenge. If you guys want to skip ahead on this part, I'm just going to go ahead and put it on auto. So that way you can go ahead and check this out and see that it really is uh, viable. We have the preset skills. We have everything ready to go. We have auto on. We'll go ahead and put this. We are 153 versus 198. And we'll go ahead and start that. And I'll let you guys check this out.
All right. Was that the fastest run? Absolutely not. It was not the fastest run. But we got it done. And we did it with minimum effort. It was on auto. So can it be done without all these specific characters and all these specific stats and everything like that? Yeah, of course. I mean, the, the game the game is meant to be played in different ways. It's not just one thing. It's giving you a recommended. Recommended does not mean necessary. Let's go ahead and look at my characters. By no means are they like pay to win crazy characters or anything. This actually, to be fair, the money that I have spent on the battle pass and stuff like that, I haven't used a single one of those summons yet. So all those summons are sitting right there. Those boxes are sitting right there. The only thing that I used was the stamina. And we'll go ahead and look at that. Right here, we have her sitting at 7,600 defense. Could be a lot better. Her gear is right now two SSRs, a single SR. I could throw one, I could throw one more piece in there. Like my dumbass still hasn't put another piece in there for some reason. I don't know why. Anyways, she can go up higher. Her skills, let's go ahead and look at her uh, enhance. She is still base, no extra. Her skills is two, 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 and two. I'm sorry, two, two, two. The skill page, I have a single one of her um, skill page. This, uh, yeah, I don't know why I leveled up those. I should have just leveled up the taunt all the way. But anyways, mistakes and you learn. Her talents, I have these right here which is increased defense and endurance and then we have increased damage resist and swiftness and sharp mind i can get the increased attack damage what do we yeah we can grind that out get that knocked out of let's go to lotus no stars just regular enhance let's look at his skills again two one two i could definitely put some more work into that don't even have his uh, necessary card we're using this one right now so no active let's go ahead and go to yami I do have one dupe of him, but as you know, the second dupe is the one that actually unlocks the uh, extra damage dealt. So we don't have that one unlocked all the way. For his skills, I do have his card. It is at level one. His skills is two, two, three. This right here is, if you get it to five, is freaking god tier. It makes his ultimate, uh, you use it quicker than you would before. Charmy, I did get lucky and get a lot of dupes of her. Uh, so she's almost maxed out on there, but regardless, let's look at her, uh, gear and stats. She has two URs and SSR, uh, I'm sorry, three URs an SSR and an LR. This LR is only at eight. I haven't even pushed it to 12 yet. It's HP, HP and magic attack. So with her, you want to have very high magic attack to have bigger heals. We're running two speed and then, um, just three defense pieces right now. I could switch this out, uh, and fix it up a little bit once I get the proper gear. Uh, to get a little bit more speed, probably take this out and do like uh, two speed pieces uh, in here or one speed piece and um, get rid of something like that to get two of them in there. Move this down. Yeah, so we can mess around with it. No, um, also no accessories. No accessories on her. We have, I believe, one two accessories on Yami, which are... I got shitty ones. I think they're crit, yeah, crit damage, crit damage, which brought it up an extra 9%. His gear is sitting at one LR, which is attack and defense and crit damage. Yeah, like not a good roll on that. We're running two of these, two of these, and two of the speed. So not even optimized, really. We have him, same thing. Haven't had any accessories, still using an SR two SSRs, and three URs. A two, a two, and then just a wasted one sitting in there. Nothing is optimized how it should be to beat these levels at the quickest rate. That run took us th about three and a half minutes, I believe. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, please give me your team down or the characters that you have available down in the comments. I know right now it's like day nine or something like that. So you've used a lot of resources on stuff. But if you have any questions of how to progress through any of the gear stages or any of the talent seed stages, stuff like that, let me know. I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. As always, thank you all so much for the continued support. I mean, I wouldn't be doing this if you guys weren't following and subscribing. So please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you on the next video.